Now, embarrassed and angered by the Kashmiri separatist leader Yasin Malik's decision to share the stage with Hafiz Sayyid in Islamabad, the Indian government is weighing its options against him. Prema now joins me on the phone line. Prema is revoking his passport on grounds of national security, one of the options that is really being weighed by New Delhi at this point in time. Well, yes, in fact, uh, agencies uh, uh, might consider revoking Yasin Malik's passport if they get any uh, credible evidence against him. Uh, in fact, yesterday when I spoke to my sources within the Ministry of Home Affairs, I have been told that Yasin Malik will be put under scanner, his Pakistan visits will be scrutinized, and the number of people he has been meeting in Pakistan will be looked at, and the nature of these meetings will be scrutinized. And if Pakistan has been... Um, sponsoring these separatist leaders in any way, even that will be looked at. And one of the measures they are planning to take is revoking his passport because remember, Yasin Malik is carrying an Indian passport and uh, a person who carries an Indian passport uh, is seen uh, sharing the dais with Hafiz Saeed in Islamabad. So this is not something which uh, probably uh, the Ministry of Home Affairs uh, officials are saying they can tolerate no longer because earlier also we saw instances of uh, separatist leaders uh, meeting Hafiz Saeed and Syed Salahuddin wherein um, during those meetings ha Hafiz Saeed had made statements against them um, India and the U.S. He went ahead. He went on in those meetings, and he had said that militancy in Kashmir would escalate after the U.S. led international troops uh, departs from Afghanistan in uh, 2014. So, um, considering those instances and the present instance, and the, right. uh, the and the uh, and the way the media has been covering these uh, uh, stories, now the Ministry of Home Affairs officials have told us that at least in this case, Yasin Malik's uh, um, meetings in Islamabad will be scrutinized and they're also looking at revoking his passport if they find any credible evidence against him. His uh, meetings, also his visits under the scan over there. But Times Now has also been speaking to 2611 survivors on their reaction to the recent developments. I think it's high time when Indian government should take action against people like Yasin Malik who have Indian passport going to Pakistan, sharing the same platform with people like Hafiz Saeed and talking against the nation and Indian government is not doing anything against it. I think uh, instead of focusing on what people writing on Facebook and uh, which movie to be banned to maintain the peace and harmony in the country, I think we have to take action against people like Yasin Malik. Of course, I'm very aggrieved that no action has been declared by the government till now. What I would like is Yasin Malik should be declared a person who has waged a war against our country. He should be brought to India. And if he comes to India, he should be put under house arrest and investigated. And all his movable and immovable assets should be seized with immediate effect pending investigations. Once the investigations are complete, they should be given the top priority. And all investigations should be made public. And if found guilty, which he will be because he's sharing the dais, he should face the same gallows which have been faced by other terrorists in this country. We are allowing him to make mockery of a democracy. Just the other day we gave a message, this country will not tolerate, tolerate terrorism anymore. A person who indulges in act of terrorism in this country will be hanged, will be sent to the gallows. And here we have Yasin Malik, our own, from our own country, having Indian passport, making a mockery, showing to the world that Indian government is tolerating this.